In this video, we're going to show you how to create dashed or dotted lines in BioRender. So there's a few reasons why you'd want to use dashed or dotted lines. Uh, sometimes you'd like to show you know, areas that uh, will be cut or areas to be eliminated or future and past events. Sometimes you want to show state change or movement of an object. There are several reasons why you'd want to use dashed lines in a science illustration. So all of our lines in our insert line category do have the dotted line version of them. So even in our arrows, you can actually navigate over to the right hand column here. And some of them do have pre dashed lines. So for example, this one, if I were to drag it out, it would actually auto draw a dashed line like so. I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see a little bit closer. Um, and of course, you can actually change the um, thickness of those lines and dashes and gaps in between like so. So it's maybe more dotted versus dashed. And then of course, like any other line, you can change the thickness and also the size of the arrowhead itself. So that's how you would edit and modify a dashed line. And let's see it used in different cases. So example for um, showing objects, for example, in you know incisions or removing, uh, say, pieces of uh, a tumor or an organ, you can actually use the dotted line, similar to when we were kids and you played with those paper doll cutouts, and the dotted line would always show um, you know, where to cut, even on like those little coupons and newspapers, they have dotted lines to show you know, where to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and use this sort of line. Actually, I'm going to use a regular line just to show you that any line could be turned into um, a dotted line if needed. So I'm going to draw a line here just to follow the curve of this liver, like so. I'm going to alt drag on a Mac just to um, multiply that line. I'm going to uh, flip it 90 degrees to give it a little bit of volume here. There we go. And I'm going to select, I just shift click to select all three lines. And I'm going to change the line color to white just so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. And I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, perhaps, uh, let's see, maybe 2.5. Let's try that. That looks good. And then we'll dash the line. So you can actually um, drag your cursor across this spectrum. Um, or you can manually type it in here if you know the exact uh, number. So there we go, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to do a little bit of adjustment. Um, you can also, of course, make a circle into a dotted line. So roughly around there, I'm going to make the middle of this transparent and make the border color white to match the rest. I think the thickness was about two and a half, did we say? And then the dashed gap was, I think, 10. There we go. So you could use um, a dotted circle to denote you know, where around this tumor one would need to cut. You can also show you know, the growth and shrinkage of a tumor or an object by using a dotted line. So there we go. That's one use case for using dotted lines. Um, another would be for transformation of an object or perhaps movement from A to B. Uh, sometimes using a dashed line actually shows perhaps a weaker signal or a stronger signal. So if I had one arrow that was perhaps a solid line, so I'm going to remove the dash here to, to zero, and one was dotted, it kind of communicates to me that perhaps this signal um, from you know cell A to cell B is, is rather weak, or perhaps um, in a different time, so in a future or past state. Whereas this arrow with uh, the solid line is a little more uh, certain to take that path. So there's uh, definitely different messages that it communicates if you use a dashed line versus a solid line. So just be aware of those differences when you go to use a dashed line. And that's how I would use dashed or dotted lines in BioRender.